Hey, it's Danny Mac, and we're back. <laughs> Teresa, we're going to jump right in straight off with some great questions. Let's do it. Okay. From Christine Rathbone. Can you please tell me the real reason Elvis never did any world tours? Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, uh, <clears throat> well, the best I, I can come up with is uh, the Colonel was uh, not a full-fledged member of the United States. <laughs> Legal system. <laughs> oh, I don't well, know. Whatever. And uh, that did have a, the biggest majority of it. Uh, Colonel liked, he liked his uh, being in control of the business. And if Elvis went on a world tour, he wouldn't have been able to go. And uh, so that's why, believe it or not, uh, they came up with the uh, satellite special, really. Uh, Elvis wanted to do a world tour. World tour. And, and so the Colonel come up with that as a, you know, as a, a way of everybody seeing Elvis, you know, and him not. Uh, being there uh, in person, so but uh, he didn't like anybody handling the uh, business part of it, even Tom Diskin, you know, especially with the uh, the money part of it. And, uh, so that uh, that that was the biggest uh, factor in the in the whole thing. Uh, outside that, you now uh, Elvis wanted to uh, many many times. He said he wanted to, you know, to. Uh, you know, the world. Okay, Felix K. wants to know who helped Elvis into his jumpsuits and how long did it take? Was there a routine for it? Yeah, they had about uh, 10 smurfs, I believe. <laughs> at, uh, and he was one of them. <laughs> he was the Papa head smurf. smurf. Papa, Papa. Papa smurf. <laughs> well, you jumped right into that one. Yeah, well, you ought, to see, you ought to see me in my red pants. God, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, at different times, different people helped him into them. You know, most of one of the guys you know, that yeah. work, yeah, one of the guys you know that worked for him, and uh, you know, it didn't take that long. No, 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 snatch him on, snatch him off. <laughs> <laughs> they were very heavy, uh -huh. very yeah. heavy yeah. Um, jumpsuits, but but most of the time, you know, he could uh, he, he pretty much get into it, except maybe pulling them up. Uh, may yeah. have to help him, you know, with the uh, sleeve part and getting them on. Yeah. That's about it. Joy Timothy asks, after he was out of the Army, did Elvis spend all of his Christmases at Graceland, and did he buy, and did he spend those with, uh, did you spend those with him? Uh, I think one time he uh, didn't come home for Christmas, but, uh, most of the times, it, well, just about all the times. I can only remember that one time, and uh, I don't know exactly what year it was, but uh, uh, he stayed in Vegas. And uh, But, uh, yeah, yeah, I was there just for ever, every, every, every Christmas yep. that I can remember. Zara Presley Z, what was Elvis' favorite coffee? Uh, the kind you drink. <laughs> no, I'm just, that's ugly. Uh, yeah, I think it was called, uh, uh, what was it called? What they used to call it? Uh, Elvis Chino. <laughs> yeah, that's what it yeah. was. Cup of, it was back when they had, uh, he, he drank, no idea uh, what he drank, Frappuccino was. He, he <laughs> drank black coffee with uh, cream. Uh, and uh, uh, That was about it. <laughs> Can't mention the brand of coffee. It just ain't nice. <laughs> and uh, they'll get on to us. <laughs> Out there. <laughs> John Graff, was Elvis amused by farts? Did he get angry if someone let one go? Oh, before we get into this, let me just say, who, who asked that question? Uh, John Graff. John, uh, you just opened up uh, a story. A whole door of. I, I know one time, boy. I mean, with our family, especially. Who, honestly, not being sick, out, who he, doesn't he, like he, something funny about a fart? Yeah, well, <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> He thought he'd roll down the window, and I flew out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some no, stories, so you might as well. There's some stories, and let, let me just say this. Uh, I, I, have been, I witnessed Richard Davis and Billy Smith 
with their episodes of that. <laughs> I would never. I, I would say Richard that. Davis that holds. So, I would say Richard Davis held the record. Yeah, because I mean, he could come up with some. Oh, uh, he had a lighter one time, and uh, believe it or not, and he held that lighter real close to his hiney, and uh, he blew out one that sent blue <laughs> flames. I'm telling you, and that's a fact. It, and uh, he was uh, Richard was a character. He was funny, is it? But he had on white pants, and I swear and, he almost he almost and, burned a seat. Oh, believe it or not, uh, but rarely. But I just got to say, you know, uh, I guess uh, Elvis lit that one in the limousine and locked the windows. <laughs> Ooh. And believe me, boy, and the doors was locked too. So I think I know somebody and else. And they also, that. I believe, <laughs> who did that? Oh no! Yes, yeah, the here. same joy ain't but here because anyway, he can tell you a lot about it. Oh no! That. You've opened the door. You did. Go ahead, Mama. Yeah. Uh, you better hug. <laughs> Elvis had just given us this beautiful Cadillac, and so we were riding around in our in our neighborhood and just out sightseeing. And Billy thought it would be real funny because we had the automatic door locks, which was you know and a windows. Town, well, a Elvis thought it was. And and window, window locks. I thought I'd try it. Well, Joey and Danny were in the back seat, and Billy did that and locked the windows and he was dying laughing well joey threw up in the back seat <laughs> <laughs> so so we had to go and walk God on his truth. so it got back it, it yeah. backfired on billy oh my god <laughs> now he was just nauseated that day because yeah. you know as they always say you know and everybody says the same thing you know mine Surely smells was. like roses yeah right. i mean you know the, I, the roses were wilted and kind of rotted that day <laughs> That was one of the, probably one of the greatest <laughs> things that we loved about going to the grocery store. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh. All right, let, let, let's move on. Next question. Hey, we'll save some more we of those. We save that story. But but seriously, uh, I guess if you get anything out of this story, uh, yes, Elvis farted too. <laughs> did he get angry when someone let you know? Did he get angry? When if it wasn't him, yeah. <laughs> hey, well, there again, who doesn't? <laughs> it's funnier when you're the one. Okay. And this question is from Tries. Billy, did you ever sing a song with Elvis? No, I didn't want to show him up. <laughs> yeah, you did. I thought y'all no. did uh, Daddy Sing Bass Mom sing. Yeah. Way, way down, way down up in, up in his bedroom, not professionally. That was, that was me and Linda and Elvis. Yeah. Uh, no. So I, bass, she bass, would do the bass part and, no. I was, and I would do the tenor. Actually, it was Ginger. Actually, it wasn't. <laughs> Actually, it was Linda. Well, then he did it with both of, both of them. No, no, remember... no, no, no. When he did Way Down, and I think Linda will back me up on it, he had her doing tenor. I mean, not bass, and me doing tenor. Okay, but Linda could. Linda had a great voice. Oh, Linda anyway. had a good voice, yes, sir. Work. Uh, so y'all carried on sometimes with songs. Oh, but yeah. You, yeah. So I, I never sing professional with Elvis. No. no. Okay. So that hopefully that answers the whole thing. Johnny B asks, did Elvis have plans to record anything or want to? Record had, anything. Did he have plans to record anything or want to record anything else? Well, about 630 some odd songs he recorded. But I think what John's saying there to last. Yes, he still He had, wanted he, he you know, he wanted to record, but uh, Elvis, you know, he wanted to record when he wanted to record, not when they wanted him to. So, you know, uh, answer your question. Yeah, he was he was going to record again. Uh, it was just a matter of when, <laughs> you know, when he decided he wanted wait, to. Wait, when the time's right. You yeah, know, the time's uh, right. Uh, <laughs> he's talking about that and saying uh, his daddy had a really good voice. Oh, yeah. Vernon had a he good did. voice. His mother had a good voice. Patsy, his cousin, had a good voice, and sitting right here has a great voice. Oh, no, and no, no, no. he won't let anybody hear it, but he does. He has a good voice. Most of their family sang and played piano. And if and anybody ever remembers Frog Mill House, <laughs> uh, that's who I sounded like. <laughs> and I know, I know y'all are fixing... I know y'all are fixing the ask, so... I'll just give y'all the answer right here. Would, would y'all like me to sing sing something real quick? Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> here he is. Danny, the star of the show. Danny Rock here's Star. Danny. I yeah. thought they would do like the normal do and be like, oh, no, no. No, go uh, ahead. Danny Rock Star. I, I, I personally didn't. That's, you know, one thing I didn't get, so. 
No. Now my daughter well, Danielle can I sing. I didn't try to give it to you. I mean, you know. <laughs> Laney Buck can sing. But... Laney can sing. <laughs> Poor Danny uh, can't. Patsy Presley, um, Patsy Ruth Presley, his cousin, has double, a, first. double first cousin. She has a good voice too. She yeah. she used to uh, harmonize and with Charlie and and mm -hmm. she just always had had a good voice. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give y'all one little pinch. This is the one I always sing to Teresa. So oh. here it goes. You're so beautiful to me. <laughs> That's not the one you always sing to me. That's not the one you always sing to me. Y'all can't tell me that one. That is not the one you always sing to me. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Usually the one I sing to you is, uh, Lord forgive me for he know not how he sounds. <laughs> yeah. The one I... One seriously, real quick, and we'll get off of this that I sing to Teresa is, uh, You're the devil in disguise. Yeah. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> okay, the next question is from Debbie Craddock. How did Elvis get over his fear from flying, and did he ever skydive? Uh, that one well, time, he finally got you. wings. <laughs> uh, he, when he, and, you know, he started to fly a little bit, and he'd get a little higher, a little higher. I remember, that's the first time he Debbie ever drank Red Bull. That's it, huh? Yeah. That's the first time that he ever drank Red Red Bull because Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> no, nah, he uh, he finally just uh, <clears throat> he's finally just said the heck with it. Yeah, yeah. he, he uh, yeah. But no, he never did skydive. No, <laughs> no. Uh, gradually he got it. He got yeah. He just got. It. I mean, he. Uh, I was gonna say he flew a lot for not to. Yeah. He, yeah, but he the way Elvis <laughs> he had everybody on there with him. So that's, I don't know about everybody else, but that's the way I felt. Because I, I had a fear of flying, but I figured if we were on there with Elvis and 900 other people and Billy was on there with me and a lot of times we took our kids on there that everything was okay. <laughs> I always felt like that's how big that bond was, was, you know, we all fly together or we all, stay we all die together. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the way I feel. Or you could get on, get a drink, and pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, enough with this craziness. Let's. <laughs> Excuse me. I was high anyway. <laughs> Did Elvis wear makeup? Uh, I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> he didn't wear makeup at home. No. No, or when he was not doing a movie or. Uh, Probably on stage, he did. Once in a while, yeah. If you know, if he felt like he was uh, too, you know, too, Dry, too white, drained pale, out, yeah. pale, white, pale looking, he would, you know, maybe put some on. But very seldom, you know, except in making movies, he had to, you know. But, uh, but at yeah. home or anything, he, home, never no, he never did. He never, never did. No. Cindy S. Who taught Elvis and Billy how to drive? Uh. I Hell, don't know Daddy who, still can't drive. <laughs> I don't know who the idiot was, but he he didn't know what had to drive himself, so you know, no, nah, no, nah, I don't know. Uh, Vernon told Elvis, I think, but uh, your daddy probably the, the old you. Uh, Lincoln and Daddy, yeah, uh, Daddy helped me learn. Uh, uh, what or were you I like Dakota just started driving? He started driving up and down the driveway <laughs> up the hill. No, I, you know, I. Knew how to drive a little bit I, before I got my license and all, but uh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Billy taught me to drive. <laughs> but anyway, I, I don't know. That's just you know, that basically your I guess your father's teaching you know uh, most. Because you know. your mother didn't drive. Ma at all. My mama didn't drive. It, that's so strange. Um, his aunt Gladys didn't drive. His Billy's mother didn't drive. Aunt Cletus did not drive. Uh, Aunt um, I don't think Jean's Aunt Lavelle, mother, Lavelle, Aunt Lavelle didn't, didn't drive. drive. Lillian was the only one of the girls of the sisters that drove. None of the rest of the women drove. Boy, no. That is kind of weird. Though. Mm -hmm. Now, Strange. if it came to horses and wagons, boy, then you couldn't beat them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Levi Nolan asked, was Elvis connected to Freemasonry in any way? No. Gary Shoemaker, 
Billy, did Elvis ever get aggravated with jokes getting out of hand? Yeah, you know, if they got started getting, you know, just completely you know, crazy and way out there, you know, or real ugly or something like that, you know, he he would uh, stop it. But he loved jokes. But he loved As he long loved as he jokes. was the one. To... Yeah, he liked, he, especially if he's doing them, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, he uh, just once in a while. But most of the time around him, you know, you knew not to carry it uh, too far, you know. Barb Miller Artist asks, when going cross country, did y'all ever stop at places like the Grand Canyon? Did Elvis ever get to visit places like that? Yeah, yeah. we was going across country. Uh, it's a video we, where you stopped and y'all yeah, were out. Yeah, one time uh, we went to the uh, the Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon and to the... Uh, Cr the crater? Yeah, the, the, the crater. crater. Uh, uh, big place that was... Uh, Meteorite, meteorite head in uh, Arizona. We visited those two places. Uh, sometimes we'd stop, you know, uh, I know like in the earlier days, you know, we... Just to stretch your legs and get out. Yeah, and, and oh, well, a lot of times we've done that. But going across like Route 66, you know, yeah. we might stop at a certain place. But uh, other than that, not too many, too many stops. Uh, he liked to get on the road if we was going to California, you know, just keep going, you know, get a, get real tired, get a hotel room, get out the next day, and, you know, uh, same way we're coming back. And last question, Mech Tech Mechanical. Billy, have you ever been to England in the 1960s? No. I've, I've never been to England at all. Uh, yet, maybe, you know, I don't know. But he's been so. to Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I've, I've been to. Uh, they say been, he was. They been, say he was born there, but you really don't remember. I don't. Uh, I've been but he to, would like to. I've been from Maine to Spain on the choo choo train. Man, what can I say? Uh, every just about every state here. Yeah. We've been to, but not overseas. Mm -hmm. Not overseas. Uh, uh, right now I can't go. COVID won't let me. <laughs> Hey, y'all, that was great questions as always, and uh, we appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Keep on keeping on with it. We love each and every one of you, and remember, we always live, live Elvis. Elvis. We do.